right, here today we have a superb Triumph Trophy 1200 SE. So this is a Triumph's flagship touring bike, uh, basically competitor for the uh, BMW uh, R1250 GS or uh, RT. Uh, basically you've got literally everything you could want on on a touring bike um, obviously incredible amount of weather protection from the standard fairing but then obviously you've got the electronically adjustable screen on there as well um, you've also got nice high bars when you pull back position to make it nice and comfortable you've obviously got the comfort seat on there this one i believe has got the lowered seat on there uh, so obviously should make it a lot easier to ride because you'll be able to get your feet further on the floor um, comes with Triumph's absolutely superb, legendary uh, double overhead cam liquid cooled triple motor. So loads and loads of mid-range torque from that 1200 cc engine, but obviously very smooth because obviously you'd be in a three cylinder. Um, other main benefit, obviously it is uh, part to uh, shaft drive. So almost maintenance free, really. Uh, very little work has to be done on servicing on a shaft drive bike. Uh, so this being the top spec SE model, it does come with every accessory you can think of really as far as uh, ride raids and comfort. Uh, the bike comes obviously with a power screen, also then comes with the electronic suspension. You've got ABS, traction control, cruise control, radio pack, um, obviously massively sophisticated uh, dash on these which I'll demonstrate when I turn on in a minute. Um, this one uh, comes with the optional top box with rack and comfort pack on the back as well. So, so generally good all round condition. Oh, another little lad there. You've actually got the sat nav mount uh, with the power there. Looks like a Tom Tom mount on there as well. So generally good all round condition. Uh, so 2016 machine with just over 16,000 miles on the clock. Uh, four owners from new. Well, we have just literally six uh, stamps in the book and stuff when MOT right the way through until December next year. We do have the hand and service book with the bike as well. Any marks I can see on the bike, really a couple of little marks on the engine bars, which mean obviously they were a, a very good purchase. Um, the bike has gone over, obviously it's then saved any damage on the on the main fairing or anything like that. Stainless steel exhaust system all the way through on these bikes, so something you never need to worry about. Also come with a centre stand as well, so obviously just for cleaning the bike or storing the bike. Uh, just a lot easier than uh, just trying to do it on a side stand. A couple of tiny little marks on the panniers there. Nine times out of ten, that's where just people put their, uh, their boot locks on it when getting on and off the bike. As I said, large top box center, I believe you can get two, two helmets in the box. Uh, I guess a decent sized box on those. Again, normal little marks on the panniers there where people put their legs over and don't quite clear them. And as I say, benefit of shaft drive on these bikes. I say a couple of little marks on the engine bars, which is said worth the weight in gold. If the bike, if you do lose your footing, the bike goes over, obviously saves any damage on the main bodywork and the fairing. So, as I said, just literally looking at, so you've got cruise control, again, audio pack on this one, power screen, heated grips, information computer, and then, as I said, massive amount of information on the dash on these. So as you can see, digital fuel gauge, temperature gauge, uh, the electronic suspension, trip controls, just yeah, lots and lots of digital gear indicator, which is a nice touch as well. Daylight running lights on the front. So full details of the bike will be on our website, speedthrills.co.uk, or if you'd like any further information, don't hesitate to give us a call on Exeter 
01392 211246. And if you found this video useful, please feel free to give us a like and hopefully subscribe. Thanks for watching.